What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole.young and today we are talking about a topic that is so important if you are wanting to learn new tech skills and you are going about it on your own. Whether it is you're trying to land a new job in tech or upskill in the position you're already in or maybe you're trying to build the business of your dreams, whatever it is, you don't want it to take forever. So in today's video, I'm going to share five pretty simple and easy things that you can do right now to start putting you on the trajectory to learning the things that you need to learn a lot faster and start making progress in no time. Let's get it. Now, before I jump into the five tips that I have, I want to mention that this is video number two of a series that I'm doing, helping you go from a complete beginner to a dev. So make sure you check out the link to the playlist down below and make sure you like this video, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any other videos in this series. I think that all of these tips are important, but I'm going to start at number five and work my way all the way down to number one, which is the one I think is the most important. So make sure you stick around for the entire video so that you don't miss any of the important tips. Okay, tip number five is to build a sustainable workflow so that you can stay consistent. I know firsthand how easy it is when you're first getting started, you have these bursts of motivation and drive and you're trying to sprint through tons of material, get through a lot of stuff, only to get overwhelmed or for life to happen and then you to take breaks that end up taking days, weeks or even months. And then by the time you're ready to come back to it, you have to basically start over again because you don't remember the things that you learned during that sprint. Well, stop doing that to yourself. It's really important to stay very realistic when you are building a workflow for yourself so that you don't get super overwhelmed or your progress is derailed when you get stuck on a particular problem. You wanna just take it step by step and you want to also be realistic about how much time you can devote each day. I think in terms of consistency, it is really important to be learning or doing something on a day-to-day -to -day basis, but even if it's week by week, certain amounts of time that you can devote, it's important to stay consistent with that. I have learned personally that you make so much more progress over a span of time when you take slow, steady baby steps on a regular basis than taking huge sprints, long breaks, and restarting. I have a tip at the end of this video on how you can start building more consistency, so make sure you stay tuned for that. The next thing I want you to do is to make sure you are learning the most up-to-date concepts, frameworks, languages, and libraries that you need to learn for what you wanna do. Before you grab a bunch of resources and dive into what they are teaching you, make sure that they are teaching you the most up-to-date version of that language or framework that you are learning. I have personally made the mistake of watching a tutorial and using it to try to build something only to realize that I was learning the syntax for a older, more deprecated version of the language that I was using. So definitely just do a little bit of research before you dive in and make sure that it's up to date, making sure that the video tutorial or whatever it is that you're watching has been updated recently and matches whatever current version is out will save you a ton of time in the long run, trust me. Going along with having up-to-date resources, you also wanna make sure that the resources that you have are high quality. So first off, I don't think it matters where the resource comes from to make it a high quality resource. When you're first getting started, I want you to make sure that the resources that you are using are focused on one thing, and that is getting you from point A to point B as fast as possible. And the way you do that is through project-based learning. When you are learning a new skill, particularly with code, you wanna make sure that you are getting your hands dirty and working on that muscle memory as much as possible. I have talked about project-based learning in a lot of other videos, but I think a really good rule of thumb that I've been using recently is to spend about 30% of the time learning the new theory or concept and the other 70% of the time just getting in there and just trying things and learning as you build. Because coding is a skill set, much like learning a new instrument or a verbal language, you have to stay practicing and actually doing it to be able to keep up that skill set. It will get away from you if you don't 
regularly work those muscles. So make sure you're doing that. Number two, is super important and that is to make sure you are only focusing on learning the most crucial things that you need to learn to reach your ultimate goal. It is so easy when you're just learning how to code to get stuck in the weeds of all of the different things that you could be learning from data structures and algorithms to how to use your terminal and the list goes on and on and on. But I challenge you to only focus on the exact skill sets that are going to enable you to reach your ultimate goal. So if you want to be a full stack developer, only focus on the things that are going to help you to build full stack applications. Worry about all of that other stuff later once you build more of a skill set and have a general idea of all of the things that you need to do to be that developer or software engineer that you want to be. For example, I know that it's really important to learn data structures and algorithms if you want to land a job in the tech industry, but I would say make sure that you know what you're doing in the types of skill set that you want to get a job in before you start spending tons of time studying and being proficient at data structures and algorithms because that could take a long time and it's time that I feel like could be better spent learning your actual skill set. And my final tip for you is to create a plan. I've talked about creating a plan in previous videos and we'll continue to share ways that you can stay consistent and create a plan for yourself. But this is really like the most crucial thing that you should do that's going to help you keep yourself accountable, stay on track and make sure you are actually being focused in the areas you need to focus in. I will be dropping some resources to help you build your own plan and build one that is really effective and will help you through learning code a little faster. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. But otherwise guys, that was my five tips. So let me know, what was your favorite one? Are there any that you aren't doing right now that you think you'll implement? Let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, guys, I'm really excited for you. Know that I'm rooting for you and I can't wait to see you in the next video.